The Australian Cup is next is a 10 furlong group one event and at the top Dutch Rivia for John Bermanstein, Ford versus Ferrari, Dan Hughes, Foreman, David Robertson, Hatch Defender for Munas, Ithaca Circle, Vinnie Gerard, Lambs Bear, Dan Hughes, Riverman, Derek Hinton, Tower of Good Spies, Jim Murray, Blown by the Wind, Derek Hinton, Fusion Reactor, Leon Van Rensburg, Green Goddess, Patrick Hogan, Missiles, Lockpool Roads, Monterey Truth, Vinnie Gerard, Organised State, Leon Van Rensburg, Trumpet Coup and Firth Priscilla, or James Shea, Show Me Something, Joshua Sutherland and two eyed Darushka. Darren Thompson, a field of 18 then. What a big field for this group one. In my final race of the day, Jim's going to do the rest of them for you. And away they go. And Lamb's Bear got out nicely, so to the Ithaca Circle. A bit of a glitch in the video there, but over on the far side, Lamb's Bear continuing to just about lead from Ithaca Circle in the green second the pink jacketed Derek Hinton horse blown by the wind that's been blown by the wind into the lead as they race through the first couple of furlongs but now Lambs Bear regains the initiative and goes on again so Lambs Bear as we switch to the inside view from blown by the wind in second Foreman is third then Ford versus Ferrari making its seasonal reappearance back again for another season looking towards the back James Shays two are out the back Trumpet Coup and Firth Priscilla but it's blown by the wind who's got the lead then now from Lambs Bear and Ford versus Ferrari the two Dan Hughes horses between them Ithaca Circle on the far side Hatch Defender in the pink with a yellow cap is close up. Show me something on the outside for Joshua Southern trying to give him a hat trick of group ones to start day two. Then comes Fusion Reactor. River Man is in the middle of the pack. Down on this near side, Dutch Rivier River is going to need a bit of a run through. So too is Two Eyed Darushka. Organised State is making a bit of a forward move, but they've got four furlongs left to go. And Blown by the Wind is in the lead. And this foreman is now sweeping around the outside. Ithaca Circle getting back towards towards the leading group. Organised State looks a big danger on the outside. Show me something. He's trying to track that one's run. Hatch Defender has found itself tucked on the inside now, but it's blown by the wind who's got the lead. Foreman is in second. Ithaca Circle's trapped in a pocket. The, the grey Ford versus Ferrari is making a forward move. Organised State just hitting a bit of a flat spot. Trumpet Coup is the one coming through with a good looking run as well now, but blown by the wind is hanging on in front with a furlong and a half to go. Blown by the wind and Foreman. Ithaca Circle got nowhere to go. Trumpet Coup continues to make ground four minutes the front but now Ithaca Circle's got a clear one they're inside the final half further it's four minutes in the lead from Ithaca Circle four minutes hanging on Ithaca Circle one last lunge up towards the line it's going to be close four minutes Ithaca Circle Trumpet Coup Ooh. that was close it's all going to depend on the angle My initial thoughts is that David Robertson's horse held on but now I'm thinking Trumpet Coup's got up it looks like it has. Let's take a look. It's a short head win for Trumpet Coup and James Shea. So a group one winner for James Shea. Foreman second for David Robertson. Unlucky in Ithaca Circle. Was third for Vinnie Gerard. Lambs Bear for Dan Hughes. Fourth who also took fifth with Ford versus Ferrari. So that's me for today. I'll pass you over to Jim who's going to take you through the rest of day two.